Hello there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com and today I'm very happy to let you know that we have just released a brand new security scanner feature in DAP. So in this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you what this feature does, how it works and how it can help you with your DAP site security. Now, this is not a replacement for any other security plugin uh, platform that you may be using, for example, WordFence you still need to continue using them. The DAP security scanner is very specific to DAP. If you use WordFence for your WordPress website security, you are probably familiar with the WordFence scan feature where it will show you if there are any suspicious files found on your server. But if your site gets hacked and there are malicious files hidden somewhere in your DAP folder or deep inside a subfolder, you may not find that from a WordFence scan. Now we have added our own security scanner for DAP. So what this will do is it will look for any files that are not supposed to be there in any of the DAP folders, subfolders. So it doesn't matter how deep the folders are. If the scanner finds any files that are not supposed to be there, that's not part of the DAP download, it is going to tell you that. You can access the security scan page under the DAP menu. And so click on that, it will bring up a page like this. At the top, you will see the version of DAP that you have on your site, the version of live links that you have on your site. Now you need to be on DAP version 7.6 or above, and you need to be on live links version 4.6 or above to use this feature. This is not going to show up if you are on an older version of DAP. So you can see here, you can do manual scan. You can also schedule an automated scan. So if you want to run a quick scan anytime, you can just say, click here to start the manual scan and it will finish very quickly. That's it, it's done. And what it will do, it will report all the files that it does not expect to find. So what you can do is, you can take a look at this, you can delete these files. If you see too many of these files, you can just open a support ticket with us to see what's happening there. If you see files, suspicious files that are not supposed to be there, you can just click on the delete button to delete the file. And then you can run a scan again to see if it comes out clean. So here you can see it is reporting all of these files and these files should not be there. So just one important thing, just because you see a whole bunch of files here, it does not automatically mean that your site is hacked and that's why all these files got there. For example, here it is reporting all these files under the invoices folder. And the reason for that is because in this release of tab, we have actually removed the invoices folder completely. So on your site, you still have that folder but when it's doing the compare to see if you have files that are not supposed to be there, it is reporting invoices as one of those folders that's not supposed to be there. So, so all the files under the invoices folder, they are being reported here. So it's not really because there are malicious files in there, but it's because you have a folder that should no longer be there. Once you delete that and run a scan again, then you should not see any more messages about invoices folder there. So if you see this, uh, instead of deleting it one by one, because there are several files here. So instead of deleting it one by one, what you can do is go to DAP and under DAP security, you will find the folder. We have added this feature also in this release. So you can just click on this trash icon and just get rid of the whole invoices folder. This way you don't have to delete the files one at a time under this folder. So let me do that here. It has now deleted the folder. So if you go back to the security scan page, and click again to run a scan. Now you will see it's no longer reporting those files. So this is uh, something you only have to do once because in this release, we have removed the invoices folder. You're not going to see this pop up again and again after that. That's it. So all you have to do is run the scan and you will see a list of all the files that shouldn't be there. You can delete them and then run a scan again to see if it's clean. We also recommend that you contact your web host so they can run scans to make sure that your site has not been hacked because all you're doing here is you're getting rid of the malicious files from the DAP folder. It doesn't mean your site is clean because if your site is hacked and there are other malicious files in other places on your site, you still need to clean that. That's not going to be fixed by just cleaning DAP. So now let's take a look at the automated scan options. So here, what you can do is you can configure it to run once every hour, once every day. If you do not want uh, automated scan to run and you just want to run it manually whenever you want to run it, that's fine too. You can just set it to do not run automated scan. So what it will do is say, for example, you set this to run once daily. 
what will happen is when the DAP hourly cron job runs, then uh, at that time it will do a scan. And when you visit this page, you are going to find the results of the latest scan. So if you're running it in automated mode after every hour at the top of the hour, when the cron runs, it will complete the scan and it will report the results right here. So that's where you will find it. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is how this feature works. And we are going to make it better because currently it will only report new files. So if it finds files or folders that are not supposed to be there, it will report them. But in future, we'll make more updates to it. We'll make it even better. For example, we'll add another feature where it will report any files that have been updated recently. So say that you say, show me all the files that have been updated in the last two weeks or last one week or last three days. It's going to show you a list of all the files that have been updated recently. That's not part of this release, but we will at some point will update this feature to also include that. I hope this helps and we are committed to improving DAP security with every release. Uh, we look into what we can do to make DAP security even better. I hope this was helpful. My name is Veena Prashant. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.